Hallo und herzlich willkommen zurück bei The Wolf Among Us. Ja, wir haben letztes Mal die erste Episode beendet und ich würde sagen, wir starten gleich einfach mal in die zweite. Und gucken, was da so passiert. Do something, Big V. Before he completely tears up the place. Whoa, 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 hey, hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid cunt? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Please, Big B. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. Look, whatever it is, it's between you and Beast. I'm staying out of it. It's not what you might be thinking. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Come with me. No. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. No, I'm D. He's dumb. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, well, Miss White, we'd come back and kill my poor. I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. Holly, you're out of paper towels and, uh, they're gonna string me up, Big B. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. All right, I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl named... Fuck, man! This fucking lap dog. He comes sniffing around this part of the Rich fucks in the woods need a shake down. Ain't that right, Big B? Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. You're making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. Nice. Look. I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. You know, I hate to say it, but I don't think you do. Of course. You're... you're right. I can't imagine what you're going through right now. What is it with you cops? Always trying to empathize with people. I know this must be hard for you. Do you? Do you fucking know? Have you had a friend killed and their head left at your fucking doorstep? No? Didn't think so. Your nose is bleeding. so good. Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah. I know. I, I just said that. Is there something... Do you hear that? Yeah. 
please. Please. I'm sorry. Just make it stop, please. We have to go, now. What did you do to her? She'll be fine. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive. But it works. The whole station will forget the last 24 hours. And everything they saw at the woodlands. Well, hurry up. for bailing me out. Certainly. We, um, we found Tweedledee chained up to a post. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. Well, I don't know why you detained him. Dee was at the trip trap when Snow was left at the woodlands, so he couldn't possibly be involved in this mayhem. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him. There's two of them, Dee and Dunn. And they've been snooping around every crime scene I've looked at. That doesn't mean they're necessarily involved in the murders. I know what you're thinking, Bigby. It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. never get more homesick than when one of us dies. And now, were it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really happening. Dwelling on this shit isn't helping. Well, I apologize if my attempt at handling this has disturbed you, Bigby. But I thought we had some common ground. Let's get something straight here, all right? We have exactly nothing in common. Everything that connects us is dead and gone. I don't know why I'm asking you, but did she give any indication as to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... I guess fine, I suppose. She just told me to be careful. She was always fond of you, Bigby. Yeah. I don't know what else to say, Bigby. We have to, have to put an end to this. It's been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon, there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Bigby, for Miss White. I got it. That's not a very good answer, is it? Come on, just tell me what I want to know. It will make things a lot less painful for you, in theory. Oh, were you planning on using that? I just thought you really liked rubbing your little sword. What the hell do you think you're doing? 
Hello, Ichabod. Sheriff. Bluebeard. I was just chatting with our new friend. You were supposed to wait for us to get back. I told you, if you want to be involved, you will do things my way. No violence! Whatever you say, Ichabod. Hello, Big B. I want answers, D. Oh, goody. I thought you wanted questions, and I was having so much trouble thinking of any good ones. Though I'd settled on, how's your head? You see what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this, Bigby? It's been better, but we're not here to talk about me. Snow White is dead. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. You were with me when it happened, dummy. I still have questions for you, D. Sounds like a personal problem. This is ridiculous. Let him work. He's got more experience with these kinds of things. Back in the alley, you mentioned your employer. Who is it? Who are you working for? <laughs> Why? You looking to change your occupation? I'm not fucking around here, D. All right, D. Let's get to know each other. Fuck, Big B. Don't make me look at that. Just put that away. Please. Snow was murdered, D. She was... important to me. If you know who did this, you have to tell me. I don't know what to tell you. You're barking up the wrong tree. I don't know who did it. Just tell me who your employer is. I'd like to help you, but I can't. My brother and I, we got a thing about loyalty. We do our job and we keep our mouths shut. If we don't hold up our end, we don't get paid. Your brother? Where was he last night? I can't say. He could have been anywhere. Take your best guess. He didn't do it, if that's what you're thinking. Then where is he? No, I'm not sending you after my brother. Look, I answered your question. Can I get my stuff back now? What did you find on him? Oh, uh, nothing of consequence, really. This is getting old. You just carry this around? Always handy that way. I couldn't hurt, I guess. Look, Big B. This isn't going to work. Don't you want to find out what happened to those girls? To Snow White? <sighs> Let me handle this. So where's your brother? Look, mate, I'd like to help. I would, but I can't tell you where he is. Last time I saw him, we split up, and I went to find Faith. I don't know where he is now, but he didn't kill anybody. Just leave him out of this. You mentioned Faith? Look, I went to her apartment. That's no secret. You saw me. No, there's more to it. You said you were trying to find something. All right, D. What did you want from Faith? Sorry, I can't help you. I'm not saying any more about it. It's moving along. At an idle pace. You always carry this much cash? I've got a lot of laundry to do this week. What's it to you? This bag of mine. <laughs> I better get that back. Come on, D. What did you want from Faith? Sweet girl like her. Sweet? You think that girl was sweet? She was a fucking thief. Fucking sweet. Faith was plenty of things, but that ain't one of them. I mean, you know what she did for a living. 
right? What did she steal? I don't know. Just some dumb thing my boss was after. Your boss? Well, that brings me back to my first question. Who are you working for? You're gonna get me in trouble, Big B. I can't answer any more of your questions. I'm saving that. This is really... What's the point of this? Here. Yeah, all right. Wanna see a trick? <clears throat> Why don't you just tell me who you're working for? Look, you're not a bad guy, despite what beauty says about you. At least, you're not a total bastard anyway. But I just can't give you that information. There's no way beauty would associate with a scumbag like you. What's wrong with me? You're telling me I ain't pretty enough? Yeah, we're real close. I thought this was supposed to be a murder investigation, but you're treating this guy like a fucking house guest, Bluebeard! And not getting any answers from him this way. Snow White is dead. One of us. And you're going to let this ignorant shit walk out of here in one piece. Out of my way. I'll show you how it's done! <laughs> what the fuck? What do you think you're doing? Teaching him a lesson. Now pay attention. Stop this right now! You enjoying yourself? Immensely. Episode 2, Schall und Rauch. What the hell was going on down there, Bigby? Abusing a prisoner like that. I thought you were dead, Snow. And that makes it okay? I hope it was worth your time. You really scared us. If we'd just known you weren't actually dead... I was working on this case. After a conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy. Hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. I'm glad you took care of things. Thanks. Snow? What is it? I'm glad you're... Uh, not dead. Me too. 
I just want to get to the bottom of this. I just feel like... What is it? I just... I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. If someone wants you dead, at some point they'll realize they missed their target. And they'll come looking for me. We just have to find out who did this. And why she was glamoured to look like me. I mean, that's what it is, right? So, what's our next move? We just keep doing what we've been doing. We do our jobs. And I'm supposed to do what? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs? Waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? That's not what I meant. Well then what did you mean? I told you, I'm tired of sitting around. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once I'm and... not yours to lose. I'm sorry. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. I've been doing it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. E even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up though, so try not to be too... you know... Myself. Right. TJ's over there. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I... I want to be there. Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. Da drüben sehen wir schon TJ. Und wir werden auch mit dem reden, aber ich würde sagen, das machen wir in der nächsten Folge. Und bis dahin, vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen und bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss.